Stability over time is a key indicator of device performance and its possible mass production. The sun is a powerful source of heat and light, but this energy may also be destructive towards materials. Organic and polymer solar cells are known to suffer from this issue. Photooxidation is usually considered to be the problem, but in the absence of corrosive conditions, intense illumination still leads to burn-in, a rapid decrease of device performance linked to rapid degradation of electron transport. In their full paper in Advanced Energy Materials, Jordi Matarell and co-workers propose ways to achieve a long lifetime of polymer solar cells by addressing the issue and mechanism of UV-induced nanomorphology disorder. The authors turned to solution processable active materials, PCBM, a fullerene derivative, as the electron acceptor layer, and PTB7TH as a high performance photovoltaic polymer, with a morphology comprised of nanoscopic domains of each of the components for fabrication of the devices in the inverted cell configuration. The researchers proposed that degrading performance in these cells is related to absorption of UV photons in the PCBM acceptor phase, followed by spin flip at the PCBM polymer interface, which in turn leads to the formation of PCBM triplet anions and accumulation of electrostatic potential energy. As a result, release of excess energy leads to destruction of a weakly bonded nanomorphological order. UV-induced degradation of exciton diffusion and charge mobility was demonstrated by the evolution of photovoltaic parameters under one sun illumination with filters of varying cutoff wavelengths. Furthermore, time-resolved transient absorption experiments confirmed the formation of PCBM triplet anions and subsequent destruction of the phase order was visualized in the external quantum efficiency spectra. To overcome the issue and increase device lifetime, the authors turned to thermal annealing prior to light soaking to increase the active layer's crystalline order. Blend composition, or the ratio of donor to acceptor, was adjusted, and 1,8 di-iodo-octane free cells obtained for a 1 to 2 weight ratio showed the best power conversion efficiency of 9.6%. Upon thermal annealing, DIO-free cells exhibited excellent short-circuit current stability. Grazing incidence wide-angle X-ray diffraction measurements prior to and after annealing confirmed an increase in ordering in the annealed blends. The performance of the annealed cells was monitored under continuous light exposure up to 2,300 hours, indicating retention of more than 92% of their initial power conversion efficiency and predicting a T80 lifetime of more than seven years under full sunlight illumination. An impressive 10 years lifetime could be forecast for vertical applications, which alongside the high PCE, suggests that this strategy may be applied to future solar window technologies. To learn more details about this study, please visit the Advanced Energy Materials homepage.